Day three of the Corona Diaries. <laughs> Frankie and die. Sophie are back in Chiang Mai. <laughs> so we just got back to Chiang Mai <laughs> from Pai. Um, last night we went out knowing that all the bars would be shut, mm -hmm. just to see what, how different it was. Yeah, and it was, it was sad, wasn't it? All the shutters yeah. were shut. It was a lot quieter. Um, but the main market stalls and that on, on Walking Street were still open. Um, and the food there was great, so we were happy with that. I got baked potato, obviously, um, and she told us that from, well, last night was there last night, so they also had to shut down for two weeks, and it would literally just be restaurants and supermarkets open. Yeah. Um, um, all and the hairdressers are closed. <laughs> As you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wild day today. <laughs> um, yeah, that, this is how I feel. Um, no, when we got back to Chiang Mai um, a couple of hours ago, driving through, everything seems so much quieter already, yeah. isn't it? All the shutters are shut, the bars, there's not people sitting outside eating and drinking. Like You can tell that everything's shutting down. Yeah, it is really sad to see. Um, but we're glad to be back in Chiang Mai. Yeah, today's just going to be a pool day. Yeah, just going to chill out and then hopefully we can still get our flight to Phuket on Tuesday because Air Asia cancelled all their international flights so just hoping that domestic flights are next. Um, oh, and and then, then we've got to get a bus and a ferry to Koh Tao. Hopefully the islands are still open because um, that's where we're going to bed down for potentially three months. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping to do our dive-in. We checked on their Facebook page and at the minute it's all good to go, but yeah. who knows? But again, we just want to be sensible. We, you know, yeah, just take each day as it comes and just try and do the right thing. Yeah, whatever that may be. <laughs>